All right. We back at it like crack addicts. He's below. Oh, I said that. Crazy, 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 crazy. He said, what? Crazy, 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 crazy. Hey, hey welcome to Hangers with Hyenas, man. We in the voodoo room. One more time, man. State your name, fool. d Lo. What's going down, man? Uh, same old shit, man. Just chilling. Good, man. We're going to have a... Uh, first off, we got to say this is going to be the... Uh, Deep voice edition. <laughs> We're going to uh, tell uh, our story or uh, a little bit of this and that Barry White style. Where you get your deep voice from, boy? Shit, I don't know, just popped up, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, it about 12, 13, voice started changing. You were sounding like that when you was 12 or 13? Yeah, my voice got deep then, man. That make it easy to rob banks, I'm sure. I would have <laughs> been through that. <laughs> I got away with some shit, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Shit. So yesterday they had a front, what do you call it? A Franz talk. Yeah. And, uh, out here in Germany, in Berlin. How'd you spend your day with that? Shit, I spent it alone. Shit, chilling. <laughs> it's probably better for them. <laughs> Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you on the prowl or no? No, man. I'm just, just kicking back, you know. Kicking back, chilling yeah. like that. That's it, man. Hey, man, I heard you got a new EP coming out with a creative maze, man. That's dope, man. Yeah, man, coming out here soon, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying a little something, something, something different. That's dope. Hey, we're going to get to that later, though. First, uh, we're going to talk about how... Uh, no, we're going to let people... Um, try to let people uh, get to know you a little bit before we get into all of that EP stuff, man. First off, let's say, uh, where you from, dog? Well, that's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, actually, you know what I'm saying, from D-Town, Triple D, you know what I'm saying, Dallas, Texas, for a lot of people who don't understand that slang. Uh-huh. You know, that's the dirty South, you know what I'm saying? That that's it. That's yeah, it. that Long Star State. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now I'm sitting over here in Berlin City, man. Damn, that's what's up. You like that shit? Depends you like Berlin? Berlin's tight, man. It's tight, man. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 way chiller and more comfortable, you know what I'm saying, than back at home. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't got to be so much on your P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. That's cool, man. Uh, check this out. Like, Tell us a little bit what it was like growing up in Dallas, though. Oh, boy. It wasn't easy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, were, you, you was in the inner city or like more, more like a... Well, it started Co out. Country. Well, it started out in the city. You know okay. what I'm saying. Then, as I got older, started getting into shit. You know what I'm saying. Moms <laughs> tried to move us to the birds. You know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So we lived in different places. You know what I'm saying. Around the metroplex. Okay. You know what I'm saying. But it, shit didn't change. You know. It didn't change. It didn't change. You know, just because you moved to the suburbs, it didn't change. You think people were just kind of like trying to follow what was going down in the city? Like, that's why... It... Back then, when yeah. yeah, when I was coming up, yeah, it was... The suburbs seeing what the cities was doing, you know what I'm saying? They trying to do the same thing, so they, you know, start copycatting, mm -hmm. so to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. Sometimes, man, the suburbs could be even worse because... It's almost like they want to try to top what the city boys doing. Like oh, already, especially down there where I'm at. I mean, you got to li listen to the names of the, of the hoods. You know what I'm saying? Like Arlington, mm. they call that Ag Town. You know so what I'm saying? That mean? that mean aggravated. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Fort Worth. They call that Murder Worth. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I thought it might mean agriculture. I'm sorry. I thought we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, agriculture and bodies and shit. <laughs> it's good nah. with soil. Uh. Nah, they got it's crazy down there, man. You got North North Galveston, that's North Dallas. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some crazy shit going on down there. It was a lot of uh, high murder rate and violence and like that. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of that. That shit is all over, man. That's all over DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It goes all out to the suburbs, next counties and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Wow. That's it, for real. Just don't get caught slipping in certain hoods, you know what I'm saying? Living in, in, in that kind of environment, did that make you want to try to get out of that? Or, or, like, you wanted to stay because of, like, the thrill of it or excitement? I mean, the reason I was, like, always involved, it was just a thrill for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like a drilling junkie. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, you know, little rebel, you know what I'm saying? Outlaw. Mm. See, if I could do it my way and get away with it, or do it my way or no way, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the only reason I got into the shit I did. So it wasn't really peer pressure? It was more no, like, no. That was my choice. Yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah. Got you. you got any siblings? <laughs> siblings? Yeah, yeah, I got some siblings. Yeah? Yeah, I got one brother and five, no, six sisters. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all from Dallas, too? Nah, I got... Uh, I got, how you say, five sisters here in Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the other two in the States. Mm -hmm. One in Texas and one in the ATL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I got a brother. He's actually from Dallas, but he live over here in Berlin now. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice, man. That's nice to have family close by. Yeah, Shit. you know. But family only make you related, though, homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm yeah. saying? It ain't always, you know what I'm saying, cookies and cream with the family, you know. Yeah, especially if you got diabetes, you know. <laughs> I know I got some family members, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talked to them in some decades. They don't even check up on them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just blow them off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah Let it yeah. be like water and roll off my back. Uh, I got you. Mm -hmm. When you was in Dallas, did you play any sports? Yeah, football and basketball and track and field. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How far you get with that? Either one of them. I got pretty far, man. I had a scholarship, but I messed that off. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. And, you um, want to talk about why? Or how? What happened? Uh, <laughs> streets got a hold to me. We'll just say it uh -oh. like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, living that banging life, you know. Mm. You know got mm. in that banging. Shit, it just kind of pulled me more. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So... Fucked yep. around, got caught up in some shit, and yeah, so you know that went to scholarship. At what age was it like, where you actually could kind of see you getting pulled between the streets and sports? Where did you see that? I say probably around probably thirteen, between thirteen, sixteen. Around that age, mm -hmm. getting ready to hit middle school, junior high. Around that age, there, mm -hmm. yeah, that's mostly when you kind of get pulled in certain directions. If you don't know which direction to follow, right? Then whatever you feel like that stronger pull gonna pull you, that's the direction you're gonna go to. Right, right. And, you know, especially if you ain't really got no like no 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 male figure, or no father figure to kind of like point you in the right direction. Right. Yeah. So. And I'm sure it didn't help. Like, I know you probably had friends that were on the football team that was also had, you know, they had one step, one foot in and mm -hmm. one foot out, too. So y'all yeah. looking at each other like, hey, what side you really want? Yep, yep. <laughs> it's a bunch of them. I know a bunch of them, yeah. hey, could have been superstars in the NBA or NFL, but right. got caught up in them streets, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know. It's so crazy how enticing that can be, man. I mean, even when you look at it on YouTube, you know, mm -hmm. it's a dangerous thing. Yeah. That's a dangerous thing, man. Wow. You got any uh when so like you when did you start you joined the gang, right? Yeah, about thirteen, twelve. Thirteen, 13 what what uh, gang what gang did are you in? Insane. Insane, what is that? Crip. Oh, that's Crip, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So and that where did where did you get put on that? In Long Beach when I used to go to California when I was real young. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Got to put it on. Okay, makes sense. Insane. Yeah. That's on long yeah. right. All right, cool. Yeah. And what happened? Like, you brought it. Did you take that with you back home or what happened? I mean, yeah, I took it back with me. But when I was, when I started, they didn't really know nothing about that shit. You know what oh, I'm where saying? you was living? Yeah, down in Texas and shit, in Dallas and shit. They didn't really know nothing about it until, like, really, like, colors came out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And then they kind of kind of got hip. You know what I'm saying? Then, mm -hmm. Of course, you seen what happened. Shit spread like wildfire. Okay, so you're the reason for the violence in Dallas. Thank you very much. Hey, look, we got that summed up, boys. Anyone <laughs> nah, you know, yeah, but, uh, you know, when I lived in that suburb out in uh, Louisville, you know, I started my own little clique out there. Mm. 
Yeah, but it was it was like it wasn't really no color game, you know what I'm saying? It was like a neighborhood type thing, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, called yeah. L.A. Posse. Okay. But it was called, everybody thought Los Angeles, but it was called Louisville area because the city we stayed in. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, but we was like multi you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, the reason we did that, or the reason I did that, because a, a sister girl got jumped on by a bunch of Mexicans behind the store where in the city where I lived at. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and... You know, Set it didn't off. Like it. Yeah, so we it was got all the little homies together. It was like, this is what we gonna do. So with. Yeah, uh, you know. Shout out to the Hardy Boys. You know what I'm talking about? Hardy Street, mm-hmm. Blacktown, Louisville, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Pat Run Run was cracking, cuz. <laughs> you got any, uh, I don't know, only if you feel like talking about it. You got any uh, crazy gang stories? Or, oh, or, uh, shit. <laughs> you wanna share with people out there? I mean, without I, ending up locked up. <laughs> I mean, I got a few of them, you know what I'm saying? Anything you want to share with that? I mean, yeah, I mean, I could share maybe one or two, you know what I'm saying? Depends how you want it and what you're looking for. Uh, (laughs) 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 You know what I'm saying? Because I know, you know, folks see this shit and they be incriminating themselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure yours is like... No, I'm I'm not, you know. I would think you're safe by now. Nah, I'm still not safe on the cold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can move on, man. Fuck that. Yeah. Like, you know. Another time. <laughs> okay, got you. Uh, when you went to prison, where was it that you got locked up? Was it one time or, like, multiple times? Well, actually, the first time I got locked up, I was more, like, real young, but it was only for, like, 18 months. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, I only stayed out for, like, three months, and then that's when I did that 10-year bid and shit. 10? Yeah, 10 on 15. And where, what, where? Texas. Yeah, where? Well, which unit? Yeah. Uh, no, I was on, okay, I don't know how. I was on a couple of units, a couple of prisons, you know what I'm saying? Cofield, mm-hmm. you know, Beat 01, what's up, Tony Taylor? That's one of my boys, got a live sentence on that joint, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? He's still there? Yeah, he's still there now. He's mm-hmm. rolling about 30-something years now, man. He's getting ready to come up for parole, hopefully. Mm-hmm. His first one, hopefully they let him slide through now. Damn, man, that's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. Throughout that, all right, so, like, do you ever have memories, like, you being out? Do you ever, like, sometimes look back at it and be like, almost, like, miss something? Like, when I was locked up? Yeah, like, it's crazy that might sound like. I mean, yeah, I can only, I can say I miss something, yeah. Yeah? The sports shit. <laughs> Oh, like, like, like... Scholarship shit, you know what I'm saying? Getting in this. Oh, sport. no, 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 no. I'm talking about, are there ever times in your mind, right, mm. where there's something that you think about in prison, you'd be like, damn, I missed, like, homie in the... Like, like something about prison. Nah, man. No? Hell no. Nah. Only because... thing I could say that I miss a prison, I might could say I might, like, miss a couple of homies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or times you had, you know yeah, what I mean? Maybe, Sometimes, yeah, like, but otherwise, hell no. Nah, because it would... Prison ain't like what everybody think it is, especially in Texas. You know, it's different everywhere else in the state, but Texas, that shit races as hell, man. You know, it's a lot of a lot of race wars and shit going on. Blacks, whites, Mexicans, then you got the street gangs with the Bloods, Crips, you know what I'm saying, GDs and all that. It's crazy, man. So <laughs> you see a lot of crazy shit. That's why I say, nah, you know. Because I notice sometimes, like, when people are released, you know, from mm-hmm. prison, doing long bids, they'll come home and they'll still make spreads like they did. I mean, I still like, make spreads yeah, every now and then, you so know what I'm you, saying? you missed something over uh, you there. You know, Look, I mean, that's, you, that's like, that just, I mean, that's just like part of <laughs> fool's DNA now, you see? know what I'm saying? <laughs> you missed something. Look, I mean. You, I'm like, hey, would you like this sirloin steak, you sir? Know, no, you spread, know what I have you know some what of what this saying? ramen noodle yeah, with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jack Mac in the can, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Beef stew and shit, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do that now, every now and then. That's poor man meal, you know what I'm saying? Put a little meat on your bone. <laughs> you can answer this question if you want to or not. I'm going to say something, mm-hmm. and I want to I wanna hear what your reaction is, too. You ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Number two, lead pencil. Oh, damn. What you want to talk about it, or should we move on? No, nah, uh, nigga tried me, you know what I'm saying? When I was locked up, tried me for my manhood, you know what I'm saying? Wait, uh, hey, wait. For people who don't know, what does that mean? 
fool tried to rape me. You know there what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I uh, had a number two pencil in reach, you know what I'm saying? And I used that, you know what I'm saying, for my motherfucking shank. So I played Freddy Krueger on his ass. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's why I came up with that number two pencil. You know, end of that story. End of that one. Yeah. So everybody keep your hands to yourself. Yep. Lesson learned here. Okay, we're moving on here. When did you move to Berlin, homie? Oh, boy. <laughs> I think it was, uh, shit, 2001, December, I got here. Okay. Yeah, you know. I didn't get here, you know, by choice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What, what happened? Uh, you know, got banned from the state, so to say. You know what I'm saying? Fools kicked my ass out and shit. Out of just Texas or all of U.S.? Uh, all of U.S.? You see, I'm sitting over here, huh? Oh, I thought, okay, I thought you like brought voice and all that shit. You was like, let me just stay. This is just a great <laughs> nah. cuisine that nah, we know. You know what I'm saying? Know. They, they, because, you know, they had this little law passed back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My pops was in the military, military brat, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they used this shit against me, you know what I'm saying? Shot a nigga a fake name and shit and shot me over here. Mm. And you, 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 you haven't been back yet? Nah. You no. miss it or you like it here so much? I mean, I miss it. I, You know, I miss it. I'd like to visit but not staying there no more. Fuck that. If I stay there, it's only two places I'm going to be at, prison or underground. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you were going to say the club or McDonald's, man. You nah. tweaking. <laughs> nah, shit. Because for once, if I go back, some people hear that name ring. It ain't always, you know what I'm saying, cookies and ice cream. Yeah. You know, and that goes for some of the motherfucking five O's, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Popos, you know. Fuck mm. them hoes, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So since you moved here, what is it that you like about Berlin, though? Man, it's, it's real multicultural, man. It's like... It's like more freedom that you really expect. Yeah. You know, it's relax, do basically anything you want to do <laughs> to be real with you. Yeah. Uh, that's cool, though, you know, but I just been over here chilling, playing a little football and shit. You know oh, you play saying? football here, too? Yeah, I've been playing here since I've been here. Oh, okay. Like, it's a, like professional? Like, what is this? Well, it's like, well, when I first got here, you could say it was semi-pro. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, then I was getting money for it and stuff. Okay, what position you play? Uh, cornerback and safety. For those who don't know American football, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's tackle football, man. With the helmet and pads, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, like y'all see on TV in the NFL and shit. You know what I'm saying? They got that over here too, man. Okay. Yeah. Yo, what's your favorite team? Like NFL. Dallas Cowboys, you already know. I always sung with the Cowboys. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Since I was knee high to a duck, you know what I'm saying? It's been Cowboys. <laughs> a duck's pretty short. That's crazy. Yeah, so it's been a long time, huh? Surely you didn't have a helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, living in Berlin, do you like the party scene here? Oh, the party scenes is wild, man. That shit's crazy. You know what mm. I'm saying? It should be off the chain. Sometimes you hit the right ones. Yeah, the ones with Mary Pop and the pimp. Yeah, all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Red Fox over there sipping and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Uh, is there anything that, uh, while you were here, has kind of like changed your outlook or the way you see something like as far as religion? Yeah, it's a lot of things I learned since I've been over here, to, you know, because in the States, you be brainwashed by a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you got to step out that circle, so to say, you know what I'm saying? And and open your your mind and your eyes and your ears to other shit that you think that's not real or unreal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's Berlin opened up to a lot of shit, man, when it comes to religions and it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just wild, man. But, you know, I ain't got no religion, though. <laughs> What's your stance on, like, I don't know, creation or just God or whatever you want to say? Nah, mine is more like nature, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, what, Dre, with nature, look, what? Yeah, man, that's my, that's that's like my reality is Mother Nature, you know what I'm saying? Universe, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's actually where we come from. That's what we build up. Creation, right? Yeah, you know, so that's why I don't really talk about religion with religious people, you know what I'm saying? Because... 
they only see it one way. Got you. Since we talking about creation, we might as well talk about Creative Maze. How'd you meet the big dog? Oh, damn. I met Maze, man. It's been long, about a decade plus. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, through my boy KK, Kiko King and shit. The one that's talking to me on the other side. Incriminating evidence, boy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I see, met Maze. They man. said gangsters be telling that. I see now. No, no. Yeah, that's cool, man. Shit, like you have an EP coming out. It's called, what's the name of it? I got an EP coming out? That's what I thought. Oh, for real? See, they be lying around here. <laughs> around chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I got one coming out here soon, man. You know what's what what's the name of it? Tales from the Dark Side. Nah. <laughs> yeah, tales from a G, man. See, Maze, I I'm fucking with my boy Maze, man. <laughs> messing with his head. Nah, yeah, tales from a G, man. Okay, that's what's yeah. up, man. You got that's what's up. You have a date, um, a release date for that yet? Not yet, man. But um, I'm hopefully it'll be real soon, though. Okay. But as soon as one come out, I'll shout out to everybody and let them know. Okay. How many features you got on there? Got a little they? five EPs on there, man. How many features on the five? That's oh, five I got all oh, features. I got well, actually. It's... Ah, okay. <laughs> got you. <laughs> let them know. Tell them what's up. What's man. up, man? <laughs> 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 he said peace. All right. All right, so no no release date yet. It's gonna come no. along. You got a single name yet, or you got like you gonna have a video for the single? Too? Well, we've talking about making maybe one or two videos. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the my boy Kiko King on feature on there on a couple tracks. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the love, little bro. I'm sure he's happy to hear that. Now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so how long you been rapping though? Man, I'm not a rapper, man. Okay, you just a truth teller, or what you doing? Uh, you can say it like that. You okay. know what I'm saying? I don't. I never call myself a rapper because I don't. I'm not no rapper. Mm. Yeah, I just speak what comes to my mind, what I got to get off my chest, what I feel. Mm. You know, things that I've experienced. You know, and I just put it in my own form, my own way. You know. Got you. What's your um, like? What's your recording process? Since you don't, you ain't a rapper. Like, well, how you how how you put down your lyrics or how you record ones? Well, the majority of it comes off the dome, so to say, like freestyling. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Most of the tracks I did on this EP, a couple of them just freestyle. Okay. Yeah, and just got on the mic and started doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Got you. Shit. That's cool. And I know, like, you have a very distinctive voice. I'm pretty sure people told you that about that. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that a few times. So I'm sure it probably won't be uh, many violins and uh, flutes d no, in baby. your instrumental uh, apparatus. It's all dark <laughs> bass. I'm a bass head. It's all dark bass, baby. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the dark side. That's cool, man. Would you ever perform it live? I don't know, man. I got to think about that one. Mm. Yeah. One step at a time? One step at a time. Before we go, man, anything you want to say to anybody, anywhere? Oh, man, shit, for ones that see this, man, I much love, you know what I'm saying, to my girls down there in the south of Germany in Stuttgart, you know what I'm saying? Viv, baby girl, you know what I'm saying? Pocahontas, Sheila, my tattoo artist, you know what I'm saying? Little Sassy, Anna, Millie Mill, you know, folks up in the U.S., from all over the U.S., shit. What's up, Run Run, Fat Pat? Baby sis and Yana, you know what I'm saying? Nephews, nieces, all that, you know what I'm saying? And everybody up in the BC, man. That's what's up? Yeah. That's what's up. Everybody stay healthy, stay safe, you know what I'm saying? Don't be fooled by the light. Ooh. See out. Stay crib. I want to thank all of the viewers. Thank you for chilling, <clears throat> coming and hanging with hyenas. And if... Uh, if it ain't peace and silence, then shit, you just in the way. Can I get a woo? <laughs> peace, y'all. <laughs>